Hello friends, this video on natural resources part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us talk about the next cycle which is nitrogen cycle. So nitrogen is the most abundant element in the earth's atmosphere. So if you look at the composition of atmosphere, you see nitrogen is 78% of the earth's atmosphere. So that's nice. Where do we find nitrogen? So nitrogen is present in proteins, nucleic acids, vitamins and what are these? Proteins, nucleic acids, vitamins, all of these form the living body. So if you look at the composition of our body, our body is made up of proteins, our body is made up of nucleic acids like DNA, RNA, uh, various vitamins. So all of these are like the constituents of the living body. So nitrogen is playing a very crucial role there. It is also an important nutrient for plant growth because nitrogen is a macronutrient that means a nutrient which is needed by the plants in large amounts. So that's about nitrogen and what is nitrogen cycle? So nitrogen cycle is a process by which the atmospheric nitrogen is converted into various chemical forms. So here you might have a question in your mind that okay just now we learned that 78% of the atmosphere is nitrogen so that means there is so much of nitrogen in the atmosphere and we need nitrogen in a lot of things it is needed by plants animals all life forms now nitrogen is there in the atmosphere so it can be directly utilized so why do we need to convert nitrogen into so many different chemical forms so this is an important question that we are that we are going to answer very soon. So what we understand from this slide is nitrogen is an important part of the ecosystem. So why do we convert it into various chemical forms? That's because even though nitrogen is present in huge amount in the atmosphere, but the problem is that it is non-reactive and it is unusable by plants. For example, plants need nitrogen, but plants cannot take in nitrogen as it is from the atmosphere. So it cannot take in the nitrogen gas which is present in the atmosphere. Moreover, the nitrogen which is present in the atmosphere, it doesn't react with any other element to form some other compound which might be usable by plants. So because of these two reasons, it becomes necessary to convert nitrogen into other forms like nitrites and nitrates because plants can use utilize nitrogen in the form of nitrites or nitrates. So the chemical processes are necessary to convert gaseous nitrogen into compounds such as nitrate or ammonia which can be used by plants. So nitrogen cycle is all about how this atmospheric nitrogen gets converted into nitrates and ammonia and again how this nitrates and ammonia give back the atmospheric nitrogen, give back the gaseous nitrogen to the atmosphere. So it is all about that. So here also you will see that the uh, nitrogen, the, the total amount of nitrogen in the atmosphere remains balanced at all times. So even though we convert some nitrogen into nitrate, but still some nitrogen comes back to the atmosphere. So the nitrogen cycle is a multi-step process. So multiple steps are involved in this process. The important steps are nitrogen fixation, nitrification, denitrification and ammonification. So these are the four important steps in nitrogen cycle. So looking at this uh, picture on the screen, you can get an idea about how the nitrogen cycle works. For example, see you have this nit atmospheric nitrogen. Atmospheric nitrogen is always in the gaseous form, that is dimolecular nitrogen. Now this cannot be directly utilized by the plant, so they need to be converted into nitrates or ammonia. So what happens, you see here, the nitrogen fixing bacteria which lives in the legume root nodules, they kind of help in conversion or they have the ability to utilize this atmospheric nitrogen and do the appropriate conversion. Similarly, here you see these nitrogen fixing bacteria also live in the soil. So there are two kinds of bacteria involved. One is the nitrogen fixing bacteria in the root nodules. The other one is nitrogen fixing soil bacteria. So these bacteria do ammonification wherein they convert this nitrogen into ammonia and this ammonia 
is then acted upon by the nitrifying bacteria in a process called nitrification where the ammonia gets converted into nitrites and the nitrites are further converted into nitrates and the nitrates can be utilized by the plant. So you see in this entire flow the atmospheric nitrogen got converted into nitrates which can be utilized by the plants. Now how the atmospheric nitrogen is given back to the atmosphere? Now these nitrates can also be converted back into atmospheric nitrogen by denitrifying bacteria. So this process is called denitrification. So by this process, the nitrates get converted back into atmospheric nitrogen. So you see, atmospheric nitrogen gets converted to nitrates by the process of nitrification and ammonification and nitrogen fixation. So these three processes help in conversion of atmospheric nitrogen into nitrites or nitrates. Whereas denitrification helps in giving back the nitrogen in the atmosphere. So it helps in conversion to gaseous nitrogen in the atmosphere. So that is how these four processes together help the nitrogen cycle to operate. So we will discuss a little more detail about each of these steps. However, we will not get into too much of detail. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.